Hello and welcome to another video. This is the Amazfit Fit GTR and I've been using this watch for about 5 months now. It's a very nice activity tracker with AMOLED display, long battery life, built-in GPS and more. As usual with Amazfit Fit products, the box and packing is very nice. And in here we have the watch itself. We have a big user manual, so in here you will find everything you need to know. We also get a magnetic dock for charging and it can be connected to any USB power source. This dock snaps on the back of the watch and is held in place by magnet. I bought the aluminum alloy version, which weighs about 52 grams, including the straps, so it's quite light. And from side to side, the watch measures 47.2 mm and it's 10.75 mm thick. It also comes in a stainless steel version, but I really like the black color on this one, so that's why I chose it. The included straps look good and has stitches along the sides. And on the back is a silicone layer that will rest against the skin. It's also very easy to remove the straps by using these pins here. And there are many different straps available online if you want to get a different type. On the back of the watch we can see some sensors. And in this watch we have BioTracker PBG, 6-axis accelerator, 3-axis geomagnetic sensor, air pressure sensor, capacity sensor, and an ambient light sensor. It's also got GPS and GLONASS for precise tracking. Around the screen is a ceramic bezel with a chamfered glossy edge. This watch really looks very nice and well made. The screen is flat and a bit lower than the case. The thickness of the watch is also good, as it's not too thick. Like I said, it's 10.75 mm thick. There's nothing on the left side, so let's have a look at the buttons. The top one is the power or to turn on or off the screen. There's also a nice detail in red color. If you look at the screen, you can see that it's always showing the time. That's because I have the always on display turned on, so I only need to push a button if I want to use some other functions on the watch. Pushing it will show the main display and activate the touch screen. The second button can be programmed to do a number of different things. And I set mine to open the notifications. Swiping down on the screen will show the quick toggles. And here we can use the watch as a torch. We can adjust the brightness or set it to auto. The screen is more than bright enough, so I usually keep it around 50%. This is a 1.39 inch AMOLED screen with a resolution of 454 by 454 pixels, which gives us 326 pixels per inch. And the glass is Corning Gorilla Glass 3 with an anti fingerprint coating on top. It's a very nice looking screen with vibrant colors. We can set the Do Not Disturb function to whatever we need it to be. To go back, just swipe from the left. We have a battery saving mode and a screen lock function. Swiping to the left or right on the main screen will show the activity stats, like steps, distance, calories, etc. Here's the heart rate monitor. If you want more detailed information, you can tap on the screen. Swiping up will open the menu. First we have the status, which shows us the activity history with steps, distance, calories, etc. Most functions also have a description button at the bottom of the screen. We have our Pi results here. Detailed heart rate history with a nice graph that shows today's results. We can also set the watch to vibrate if the heart rate goes too high. In here we can choose to start an activity and we have quite a few to choose from. This will also activate the GPS if it's an outdoor activity. The GPS takes about 20 seconds to get a signal. The watch is 5 ATM waterproof, so it can track swimming activities as well. When starting a new activity, this is the screen you will see. Here's the time spent, distance, steps, heart rate. Swiping up will show the current speed, average speed, calories. And swipe again and we have heart rate graph. 
If you want to pause or stop the activity, just press and hold the power button and we get an option to continue or stop it. In activity history, we can see detailed information about the activities, including a simple map. We have duration, distance, steps, speed, heart rate, cadence, stride length, consumption, heart rate split into zones of intensity, and the heart rate graph. So quite a lot of details in here. We can also find activity data in the app, and the first thing we see is a map generated by the GPS. Under is the same details as we saw before, but there are a few more details in the app, like the speed graph for the whole activity, some bars showing the speed for each kilometer, a heart rate graph from start to end, with some bars for intensity, and we can see the change in altitude. Everything is nicely presented and easy to read in here. The weather function will of course show us the current weather, but it also shows humidity, wind, sunrise, and forecast for the next days. So it doesn't show a detailed hour by hour view, but it shows the average of the day, and lowest and highest temperature. Let's have a look at the music player. When we start the player, it takes a couple seconds for it to connect and show the info on the screen. Now it shows the progress of the track around the edge. A nice feature here is that we can adjust the volume from the watch and it works well enough. We can also go to the next and previous song. We can play and pause. The app loads the information every time you start it, so prepare to wait a second or two each time you open it. Notifications for messages, calls, etc. that work quite well. And we can mute incoming calls from the watch. Here's the alarm. In here we can turn them on or off and set the time, so we don't have to open the app to do this. We can do it all from the watch. There's no speaker on the watch though, but the vibration is strong enough to wake me up every day. So the alarm works well. We have an event reminder, and you can add events from the app. In more we have the compass, which also has air pressure and altimeter. a timer function or stopwatch, a countdown function with some presets, but we can also set it ourselves by pressing the plus icon at the bottom. And last is the find phone function. In settings we can change the watch face, but one annoying thing is that this watch can only have three watch faces on it at the same time. But we can upload other watch faces from the app, but more about that later. We can change how long the screen should stay on, from 5 to 15 seconds. Quick startup is the button here, and we can set it to open status, heart rate, to start a workout, show the weather, notifications, events, alarm, music, and more. Here we can turn on the always on display, and set it to show a digital watch face, a pointer dial, or turn it off. I always keep it on, and a nice thing here is that we can set a time frame. For example, between 8 in the morning till 11 in the evening, so the always on display will be on only during this time frame. Because there's really no need for it to be on at night anyway, and it will make the battery last longer. You can choose between the digital one and the pointer one, but you cannot choose anything else. There's no custom watch faces for the always on display. In system, we can reboot, reset, or shut down the watch. The Amazfit GTR is very comfortable to wear, and I really like the design. It looks much more expensive than it is. The bands are also very comfortable to wear for long times, and even at night. They don't really look very expensive in my opinion, but they still look good. Personally, I would prefer a bit rougher look for the bands. This is the 47mm version, but if you want a smaller watch, it's also available in 42mm, but keep in mind that the 42mm version have a battery that is half the size. The touchscreen is responsive and the menus are easy to navigate. The interface itself is a little bit choppy, so it's not the smoothest thing I've seen, but it works well and the buttons feel nice to touch. One very good thing about Amazfit products is the app. 
it shows us everything we need to track activity and tapping the different areas will show a more detailed view. In here is steps with a graph view, distance, calories, a list of today's activity, and at the bottom is a 30 day summary that even shows the total fuel saved, I guess compared to driving a car, and how many grams I've burned. There's also a history for previous days, but we can also see the other days by swiping in this view here. Sleep tracking is also well enough detailed, and we can see previous days by swiping. The same goes for the heart rate and its history. The app also has functions to connect to Strava or WeChat. I don't really use any of them, so let's move on. In here, we can select from a list of different watch faces. Just keep in mind that the watch can only have one custom watch face at a time. So if you select two, it will remove the first one. And here's one problem I had when I first got the watch. As you can see, I'm uploading a watch face, but it fails to load. After about 30 seconds later, the watch will reboot, but there's no new watch face on the watch. This problem was fixed in an update, so it was working perfectly fine a couple of days later. But I had the same problem with updating the firmware. It probably took about 20 or 30 attempts before the first firmware updated successfully. After that, I have received several updates and all of them have installed without any problems at all. I just thought it's worth mentioning that there have been some problems. They're all gone now though, so it's all working fine. Overall, a very nice looking watch with good activity tracking and nice looking watch faces. Inside the watch is a 410 mAh battery that can last anything up to 24 days. But if you do like me and keep the always on display on, it will last about 7 days, even when using the GPS a few times a week and heart rate readings every minute. If you switch all the functions off and only use it as a simple watch, the battery can actually last up to 74 days, so the battery is quite amazing, even with the display always on. And if you remember where you put your charger the last time you used it, it will take you about 70 minutes to charge the watch. The screen looks very good with vibrant colors and the blacks are actually black. It's also quite bright, so I usually don't have the brightness higher than 50%. So overall, I'm very happy with this watch. It's not the most expensive watch out there, but it just might be the best looking one. After five months, the watch still looks like new, with no scratches and no visible damages on the bands. So that's very good. It is an activity tracker with accurate steps, GPS and heart rate tracking. We also have compass, altimeter, music player, notifications and many other functions. And a good battery life. So for the money, it's a good deal in my opinion. Did I mention that it looks very good? I have gotten many questions from people around me asking which smartwatch I'm using. And when I tell them it's an Amaze Fit, they don't know what it is. Anyway, that's it for my review. If you liked the video, click that like button. And if you didn't already subscribe, just click that button below the video for more. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Bye bye.